The land component Dutch, land component, French, composante terre is the land branch of the Belgian Armed Forces. The current Chief of Staff of the land component is Major General Mark Thijs. For a detailed history of the Belgian Army from 1830 to post-1945 see Belgian Armed Forces. Ranks in use by the Belgian Army are listed at Belgian military ranks. Organization 1870s According to the law of 16 August 1873, the army was to consist of Infantry 14 regiments of line infantry 3 active battalions, 1 inactive and 1 company in each regiment depot 3 regiments of Jaeger 3 active battalions, 1 inactive and 1 company in each regiment depot 1 regiment of grenadiers 3 active battalions, 1 inactive and 1 company in each regiment depot 1 regiment of carabineer 4 battalions active, 2 inactive and 1 depot company of deposit 2 companies settled 1 discipline body 1 School of Children Troop Note, a battalion 864 men consists of 4 companies of 216 men. Cavalry <coughs> 4 regiments of lancers 4 active squadrons and 1 reinforcement in each regiment 2 regiments of guides 4 active squadrons and 1 reinforcement in each regiment Two regiments of chasseurs, four active squadrons, and one reinforcement in each regiment. Note: a squadron had approximately 130 horses. Topic: <inaudible> Artillery. Four regiments of artillery, ten batteries in each regiment. Three regiments of fortress artillery or siege artillery, sixteen batteries, one battery and one spare battery depot in each regiment. One pontoon company, one company of artificers, one company of gunsmiths, one company of artillery workers. Note: a battery has six guns. Topic: Engineering. One engineer regiment, three active battalions, and one depot battalion. One railway company, one campaign telegraph company. One telegraph room company, one pontoon room company, one workers company. Topic: Train. Seven train companies. Topic: World War One. A major reorganization of the army had been authorized by the government in 1912, providing for a total army of 350,000 men by 1926 to 150,000 in the field forces, 130,000 in fortress garrisons and 70,000 reserves and auxiliaries. At the outbreak of war this reorganization was nowhere near complete and only 117,000 men could be mobilized for the field forces, with the other branches equally deficient. The commander-in-chief was King Albert I, with Lieutenant General Chevalier Antonin de Celliers de Moranville as the chief of the general staff from 25 May 1914 until 6 September 1914 when a royal decree abolished the function of chief of staff of the army. In this way the king secured his control of the command. 1st Division Lieutenant General Bayex around Ghent 2nd Division Lieutenant General Dassin Antwerp 3rd Division Lieutenant General Lemon around Liege 4th Division Lieutenant General Mitchell Namur and Charleroi 5th Division Lieutenant General Ruet around Mons 6th Division Lieutenant General Albert Lantunois Van Road Brussels Cavalry Division Lieutenant General De Witt Brussels in addition there were garrisons at Antwerp Liege and Namur each placed under the command of the local divisional commander each division contained 3 mixed brigades of 2 infantry regiments and 1 artillery regiment 1 cavalry regiment and 1 artillery regiment as well as various support units each infantry regiment contained 3 battalions with 1 regiment in each brigade having a machine gun company of 6 guns 
An artillery regiment had three batteries of four guns. The nominal strength of a division varied from 25,500 to 32,000 all ranks, with a total strength of 18 infantry battalions, a cavalry regiment, 18 machine guns, and 48 guns. Two divisions the second and sixth each had an additional artillery regiment, for a total of 60 guns. The cavalry division had two brigades of two regiments each, three horse artillery batteries, and a cyclist battalion, along with support units. It had a total strength of 4,500 all ranks with 12 guns, and was, in effect, little more than a reinforced brigade. <laughs> World War II In 1940, the King of Belgium was the commander-in-chief of the Belgian army which had 100,000 active duty personnel, its strength could be raised to 550,000 when fully mobilised. The army was composed of seven infantry corps, that were garrisoned at Brussels, Antwerp, and Liege, and two divisions of partially mechanised cavalry corps at Brussels and the Ardennes. The corps were as follows First corps with the 1st, 4th, and 7th infantry divisions 2nd Corps with the 6th, 11th, and 14th Infantry Divisions 3rd Corps with the 1st Chasseurs Ardennes and the 2nd and 3rd Infantry Divisions 4th Corps with the 9th, 15th, and 18th Infantry Divisions 5th Corps with 3 Divisions 6th Corps with 3 Divisions Each Army Corps had its own headquarters staff, two active and several reserve infantry divisions, Corps Artillery Regiment of 4 battalions of 2 batteries with 16 artillery pieces per battalion, and a Pioneer Regiment. Each infantry divisions had a divisional staff along with 3 infantry regiments, each of 3,000 men. Each regiment had 108 light machine guns, 52 heavy machine guns, 9 heavy mortars or infantry gun howitzers, plus 6 anti-tank guns. Within the Free Belgian Forces that were formed in Great Britain during the occupation of Belgium between 1940–45, there was a land force formation, the 1st Belgian Infantry Brigade. An additional three divisions were raised and trained in Northern Ireland, but the war ended before they could see action. However, they joined the initial Belgian occupation force in Germany, 1st Belgian Corps, whose headquarters moved to Ludenscheid in October 1946. Of the 75,000 troops that found themselves in Germany on 8 May 1945, the vast majority had been recruited after the liberation of Belgium. Cold War During the Cold War, Belgium provided the 1st Belgian Corps HQ Halen Kazern, Junkersdorf, Lindenthal Cologne, consisting of the 1st Infantry Division in Liege and 16th Mechanized Division in Neheim Husten, to NATO's Northern Army Group for the defense of West Germany. There were also two reserve brigades 10th Mechanized Brigade, Limburg, and the 12th Motorized Brigade, Liege, slightly bigger than the four active brigades, which were intended as reinforcements for the two divisions. Interior forces comprised the Para-Commando Regiment in Heavily, three National Defence Light Infantry Battalions 5th Chasseurs Ardennes, 3rd Carabineers Cyclists, and 4th Carabineers Cyclists, four Engineer Battalions and nine Provincial Regiments with two to five Light Infantry Battalions each. Isby and Camps, 1985, 64, 72. After the end of the Cold War, forces were reduced. Initial planning in 1991 called for a Belgian-led corps with two or four Belgian brigades, a German brigade, and possibly a U.S. brigade. However, by 1992 this plan was looking unlikely and in 1993 a single Belgian division with two brigades became part of the Eurocorps. Structure The land component is organized using the concept of capacities, whereby units are gathered together according to their function and material. Within this framework, there are five capacities, command, combat, support, services and training. The command capacity groups the following levels of command, COMOPSLAND Operational Command of the Land Component, Motorized Brigade at Leopoldsburg formed from the 1st Mechanized Brigade in 2011 and Light Brigade formerly the 7th Mechanized Brigade at Marche and Famine. The combat capacity comprises the main fighting units of the land component. 
It consists of two para-commando battalions, the Special Forces Group and five infantry battalions. The support capacity comprises one reconnaissance battalion, a civilian military cooperation and operational communication battalion, one artillery battalion and two engineer battalions. The service capacity comprises three communication and information systems CIS groups, three logistics battalions, the military police group and the military detachment at the Palace of the Nation, the explosive ordnance disposal known as DOVO in Dutch and SEDEE in French, the movement control group and the training centers and camps. The training capacity comprises four departments, the Training Department Infantry at Arlen, the Training Department Armour Cavalry at Leopoldsburg, the Training Department Artillery at Brashart and the Training Department Engineers at Namur. Some of the regiments in the land component, such as the Regiment 12th of the Line Prince Leopold 13th of the Line, have names consisting of multiple elements. This is the result of a series of amalgamations which took place over the years. The Regiment 12th of the Line Prince Leopold 13th of the Line was created in 1993 as a result of the merger of the 12th Regiment of the Line Prince Leopold and the 13th Regiment of the Line. Equipment Firearms Topic. Vehicles The Belgian Army is currently undergoing a major re-equipment program for most of its vehicles. The aim is to phase out all tracked vehicles in favor of wheeled vehicles. As of 2010, the tank units were to be disbanded or amalgamated with the armored infantry two infantry companies and one tank squadron per battalion. Forty Leopard 1 tanks were still waiting to be sold, the rest were transferred to Lebanon. As of 2013, only some M113 variants radar, recovery, command posts and driving school vehicles and Leopard variants recovery, AVLB, Pionia, driving tanks will remain in service. The Leopard 1A5 tank was retired on 10 September 2014. 56 of the tanks will be sold, about 24 will stay as historic monuments or serve as a museum pieces, the rest will be phased out or used for target practice. Former equipment Future In the Strategical Defence Vision Report of the Belgian government it was stated that by 2030 the Belgian land component will invest in new modern equipment such as weapons, vehicles, communication assets, body armour and more. Notes External links Belgian Army website in French Belgian Army website in Dutch http colon slash slash The Special Forces Group of the Belgian Army in French in Dutch